Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. Without further ado, it's the Morning Gardeners Show. Okay, this is the front. Look at the, what the roses are doing because the soil is insulated with wood chips. Look at all the red development. Dead of winter, 30 degrees last night. Expected to get much colder. These are trying to grow. This is the leaves. The rose bush. Let me just give you a good look at this. From the steps to here, it's going to be planted some decorative food that you can eat. This is what remains of the 20,000 pounds of wood chips. This is what remains. A good couple hundred pounds of it is remaining. Look at that. Let's go around the back side here. Look at that. That's it. I can do that in a day, probably. So I'm going to leave some for my neighbor. And uh, this is the remainder over here. Well, this is one of the beds I put up. This is a new bed. It's going to grow little things on the side of the house there. Then over here is a second bed. Just a little larger. Take a look at it. That's the pears. And that's plums. And this right here is the blackberry. I suspect this is going to do really well this year because it has no competition. No, it was grass all around it last year. Look at this. We're walking up. And these are the peach trees. Another blackberry. Another blackberry. This one performed well every year. Every year. That's one I'm working on there. It's going to be another bed over here. This is the outline of it. It's going to run another four feet this way up towards the trash can. I'm going to move the trash can, of course. But I'm going to layer all that wood chips and plant things that will grow well in the shade here. That's what this is going to be. This is my original blackberry bush right here. And it's going to do well because, it's, again, there's wood chips around it. All right. Let's go over here. And this is one here. Blackberry. I'm um, excuse me. One of the uh, gardens right here. In between those rose bush and the blackberry bushes are going to be plants down there. Maybe some raspberries. Maybe something else. But I have expanded the garden by 80 percent. This little hill here was taken down a little bit. To spread it out just uh, six inches throughout this garden here. There we go. This is really good. This is a good job I did. That's, that's how deep this is. That's a good, that's a good, um, I think about three, four inches. I think I'm going to raise it to five, uh, six and then I'm going to call it a day on that. All throughout here has to be six inches deep up top here. I'm going to cross from the cherry trees all the way over to this corner. All the wet stuff you see is what I completed today. Some of my strawberry plants, I will do a side dressing around them and bring them back. This is what was done here today. This here is a good six inches up here. Good six inches, easy. All through here, I can feel it what's thin and what's not. This is kind of thin here. This is a, that's, wow, that's four inches there. And that's the tree, that's a beautiful tree there. That's a beautiful cherry tree there. Three years old. And it was, all these trees were kept small because I was doing my gardening a way in which they didn't respond well. And then I discovered a way to do it where they get what they need, moisture, nutrition, and plenty of sunlight. So they have no other alternative but to grow. This is the apple tree. We're going to keep an eye on this one. This is a... Uh, 
Granny Smith. Look how small it is now. About 12 inches tall, I would say. About 12, 13 inches tall. It's going to respond well. It's and over here, we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this corner. I want to take it further back with this uh, debris is that I collected here. Take this back as far as I can. Another foot, maybe. Because there's going to be a lot of room for weeds to grow this year. I'm trying not to have that. All right, later. Later for the weeds. This path here turned out pretty good. Got to add some chips to it. it because it's not as deep as I want it. Everything's got to be six inches deep. This right here, I never knew that a mouse chewed on that tree. Right there. Never knew it until I checked it when I was clearing away the bark. The wood chip, excuse me. And that's the damage that the mouse did. Right there. It looks like it's recovering. All right. Blackberry again, right there, doing good. And we're out. This is yours truly. Let's get that tree branch off of there. Yep. So it looks better. That's an apple tree there. All three are apple trees, actually. And this is the morning garden.